Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create envelopes and perform a mail merge in Google Docs and we're going to be using an extension called Mail Merge. Uh, so it's just an extension you can install like anything else. Uh, just, you know, make sure you're logged in with the user account you want to use it with if you have more than one Google account. And then uh, just it'll ask you about some permissions and you just need to accept those permissions and then it'll be ready to go. So it's a free trial and then if you want to use it for good after that, they have you know options here free week you know thirty nine dollars a year or one hundred thirty nine dollars lifetime you know depending on how many users and so on. So I have created a sample uh, spreadsheet here. I did it in Excel. You could do it in Sheets. You don't have to do it in Excel. And then I have it uploaded into my Google Drive here it's for easy access from Google Docs. Okay, so once you're in Google Docs, you just need to create a new blank document. And then you'll have your extensions here, and you'll have mail merge. And so the first thing you want to do is pick your envelope size. So I'll click on envelopes. All right, so we're just going to do a standard number 10 envelope, and you can see there's all kinds of other sizes here, and you can do a custom size. Okay, so we'll click on save. And now we'll have our blank template here, so we just need to add the return address one time. Just like that. And now to get to the center of the envelope for the uh, uh, mail to addresses, just kind of go down a few, and then you may want to take your uh, indent marker here, put it to about three inches. All right, so that's pretty good. You know, you could adjust that as needed. So now that you have your envelope set up with your return address, you want to go back to extensions, go back to mail merge, and click on start. Okay, so you can see here, I've used it twice, so I have 18 merges left, and you have up to 30 rows in your sheet, but I only have technically five there. All right, so you want to click on Open Spreadsheet. You could also create one on the spot if you want to do that. So now I have it in my Google Drive for easy access. Okay, make sure we got our cursor where we want it here. Looks like we need to put it back. Okay, so we got sheet one. because There's only one sheet here in this spreadsheet here. So we want to merge the first name. So we have here's our headers that match the spreadsheet here. First, last address, city, state, zip. So we're going to pick first, click on add. All right, so the key to this is make sure you could see where your cursor is before you do the next one. Because if I were to hit last name, it tends to put it in front. So I got my cursor there. So I'm going to go to last, add. Okay, click on it again. Go down to the next line, address, add. Okay, city. All right, so there's our template here. So next you want to go down, pick uh, letters from this section here, and pick Merge. So it says you have four letters to merge. You want to continue. Click on Yes. All right, it says your merge letters are saved here called Untitled Document with Today's Date. And if you click on that, it'll open it with all your letters here. You can see I'm a little off-center there, but you could adjust it as needed. And you could also, you know, make things bold and that kind of thing. And if I go back to my drive, refresh here, you can see here's my untitled document, the one that I made. I put it in, in the root of the uh, Google Drive for me. So once you have this, it's just up to you to, uh, you know, get your printer set up correctly and uh, make sure your envelopes are lined up and then you can print it and you should be good to go. So I will put a link in the description uh, for how you can get the extension here. Then you can try it out for yourself. And if you like it, uh, you could uh, buy it and take it from there. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.